the chickens. Okay, so here I take care of the chickens on our farm and the ducks. And today I'm going to show you how I do that. <laughs> oh, he's found an egg. So this is a blue egg. It's in a, it's one of our Americana's eggs. The Americana's live with the ducks at the moment. They share a pen with all of our ducks. Um, the Americanas are a really fun type of chicken. These Americanas are really friendly, but they they lay blue eggs. Teddy, can you can you give me the egg? Can I see the egg? Americana. Yeah, Americana. The Americanas lay really fun eggs. We only have one Americana laying right now, but they're really bright. Blue eggs, they're really fun colors. Yeah, I'm gonna put it back in the pocket. Teddy, where do we get the eggs? Another egg. You wanna go find another one? Yeah. Well, let's go. Oh. How? Whoa, Chickens? Yeah. Uh, fuck box. Let's go inside. Oh, well, there's an egg right in the middle of the floor. Turn around, Teddy. Somebody's laying in the wrong spot. We also have a broody chicken. Yep. She has gone broody. We got a broody chicken in January. But... She's not sitting on any eggs, but she's in there a couple days. Oh. I bet she probably is. has eggs with her right now. Is a, an olive eggger. No, hat. Her name is Hawk. Yeah. I think it's a her. Yeah. yeah. These chickens are chocolate Orpingtons, all these really fluffy brown ones. We have. Um, uh, like, s about seven of them. This is a, this one's a chocolate Orpington cuckoo. Chocolate, chocolate cuckoo, cuckoo Orpington. <laughs> and he's a very pretty guy. Okay. And then there's one running away, but that one's also a Orpington rooster. He's a, he's um a chocolate, a full chocolate Orpington rooster. And but guinea. Yeah. You're thinking about getting guinea. Yeah. We're warning you. <laughs> or they're warning you. You found another egg? No. You think they're, you think they're under no. the chicken? I mean, I have to look under her. Let's see if I can find another egg. Okay, she might try to peck me. Don't you pick me? I'm sorry. It's not a good idea to grow booty in January. Here's one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's one. There's two more. Oh, this is an, a really good olive egg. Yeah. Really pretty olive egg. Mommy, me. You want me to put it in the bucket? Yeah. yeah. Another egg. I don't think there's any more. Uh, yeah. Oh, no more. There's no more. Egg. About once every month, we take all this hay and shovel it outside. We make like a pile. The chickens go through that pile and eventually the pile will compost. And by then, we'll shovel it all again. And we'll add nice, fresh hay every night. So, chickens and ducks need lots of water to lay eggs and stay healthy and all that. So, to get water, fresh water to the chickens, we have a hose that hooks 
up Fall Garden and runs along the cliff. It's about 300 plus feet long, and it comes all the way down here. And you just have to turn on the faucet up there. Most of the time it works, but right now it's cold and it's frozen. When the water is, when the hose is frozen, we have tubs full of water that we fill up. We use a bucket to cut the water into the uh, tubs. We have to try to, we, re we jump and refill those big black tubs every time we can turn on the hose. So, when it comes to the ducks, they probably would need, this many ducks would probably need more water than this. But we don't have a pond they can go to because they, this, we have to keep them locked up because they, we have a bad problem of predators and other wild animals that will come eat them. And so we have to keep them all in fences. We put them all in a house at night. So, the, we had a bad raccoon problem last year. It was bad. Fences keep them safe. Okay, this is the duck's house. Um, it's but I ha I cleaned it last night and put new hay in. I'll need to do that again tonight. It gets real messy. The this the duck I'll dump the water and shovel this out. Put in new hay. So the ducks um are all female ducks. So we have this light in. It's just like the the Americana's light, and it puts light so they'll keep laying. This roof will close to keep them in at night. But during the day, I keep it open to let it dry while it's raining. Let open the door, Teddy. Ah, you have to push it, Teddy. Uh, Don't drop the chickens. So, in this chicken house, we have lights as well, in here as well. For the same reason, they come on really early before the sun's up, and then they go out at eight. So the chickens will believe day more and keep playing. Before we got moved the lights in here, we were getting about two eggs a day out of all these chickens. How many chickens are there? I don't even know how many chickens there are. There's... Right here we have five eggs. So today, we're getting... We got eight... We get 18 to 20 eggs in a day. And before we were getting about two. Before the lights. Before the lights. Yeah. Well, we better go catch her. Yeah. 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 Be careful, Teddy! Oh, and here she comes! So, right now, all this whole pasture is dead, but, um, in the summer, we all hope to have lots of, we're we'll going to plant cover crops and grass and have lots of that grow up. We're going to probably close them off of one pasture and let them into the other while that pasture grows and then switch off the other. And this is where we had our chicken garden, where we'd grow lettuce and greens and lots of things like that and throw it to the chickens to keep them laying in things. Some of this is actually still alive. We just, like, break off the bigger leaves and they go get them. And this rooster is showing all of his girls the leaves that he found. They enjoy these leaves, especially in the winter when there is another plants or bugs. They're really happy about this. And this is where we had a you pick flower farm. When all these plants got frostbitten and died, we put them out here to make a compost pile, and the ch and hopefully it will. Um, it will compost, the chickens will get more, like, things to, that's growing out of it, and they'll eat the seeds off of it. 
and you'll be very happy. So I'm going to, it's time for me to go feed these chickens. They're hungry and I want to put in enough food that they can eat before it gets dark. And when they, it gets, the sun starts to set, they'll come up and they'll roost up here. And once they roost, they won't come down till morning. So I need to fill all their feeders so they can get enough food before night. Okay, apparently Teddy's gonna show us how to feed the chickens. Everyone loves this. It's um a chicken scratch. It's pretty much just um a sorghum and corn, crushed corn. But it's a treat that we use to throw it, and they all hear it, hit the feeders, and they all come running in. We use it to get them inside. And they know the difference between when you throw it here and you throw this. They know it's not it. <laughs> <laughs> muddy. It is muddy. Oh, that. No, it's just muddy. Oh, Teddy. Teddy, put the food in. Put the food in the bowl. The bowl. The frying pan. Mm -hmm. Dump it in. Make sure you get it in. This isn't cat food. Hey, Teddy, do you want to help me dump it? Hey, go! Go, Eddie. Gotta rinse it around. They don't want all this mud and stuff in their water. Okay. Mm. Now I'm gonna put it into their house. Right next to their food bowl. <laughs> I'm gonna pour in the water. Now the ducks have water and food and hay. gonna go to the Americana's house. Maybe they'll try to... Come on, guys. It's dinner time. These ones, um, these guys are Cuckoo Moran. They, uh, um, they're young. They, uh, pop, they, we have, they're probably around the age that they can start laying. We, uh, they live with the Americanas 
and they were getting picked on a lot when they were in the other house, but now they are with the Americanas, they fit right in. <laughs> and with these um, cuckoo morans that we have, we're going to try to make baby Olivegos. We're hoping that we will soon. Baby Olivegos, we have an incubator now, so we won't. We can, so we can take eggs.